Hello everyone. It's great to see you again as we dive into another exciting agricultural journey. Today, we're exploring a truly unique vegetable one that might still be a mystery to many. These are called Belgian endives, slightly sweet, mildly bitter, and often found starring in elegant appetizers. This isn't just any vegetable, it's a natural masterpiece, grown from the taproot of the chicory plant, a member of the Sicaria family. And what makes it so special? It has to be cultivated in complete darkness to develop its pale yellow, crisp, radiant shoots. If exposed to light, photosynthesis would transform them into ordinary green chicory plants. From the expansive fields where the journey begins, to the underground chambers where nature's magic unfolds, these humble roots are transformed into world-renowned delicacies crafted with precision, patience, and the quiet wonders of nature. So come along as we uncover the secrets of this extraordinary crop. Let's get started. Our journey begins in late spring or early summer when chicory seeds are sown into carefully prepared fields. Thanks to modern technology, advanced seeders ensure precision and efficiency saving time and labor across larger creeks. After three to four months, the chicory plants grow strong and healthy developing robust taproots also known as chicory pens. By fall, the fields turn into a lush green sea, signaling that the first harvest is about to begin. You might be wondering why is it called Belgian endive instead of chicory shoots? The name originates from Belgium, where this vegetable was discovered in the 1800s. The word endive refers to the tender shoot that emerges last as if it were a hidden gift tucked inside the root. With a lightly sweet, mildly bitter flavor and a satisfying crunch, Belgian endive shines in appetizers, salads, and even baked dishes across Europe. Have you ever tasted it? Let us know in the comments. By early fall, the leafy chicory plants have fully matured, transforming the fields into a vibrant landscape, a stunning sight as they prepare for the first phase of harvest. In a large-scale chicory fields, advanced harvesting machinery plays a critical role in lifting the roots efficiently while preserving their quality. Take a moment to enjoy this beautiful harvest scene. As harvesters roll through the fields, a front cutting mechanism slices neatly between the upper leaves and the root below, loosening them without damage. At the same time, rotating lifting arms gently pull the chicory tap roots from the soil, ensuring a smooth and even harvest. Once extracted, the roots move up an integrated conveyor system where a pre-cleaning unit removes excess soil. High-speed air jets blow away dust while soft brushes gently scrub the surface preserving the root's shape and integrity. Next, the clean roots are loaded into large onboard bins attached to the harvester. These bins are specially designed to reduce impact and keep the chicory roots in optimal condition until they reach the next processing phase. Although this is technically the harvest, the roots themselves are not yet ready to eat the step is only half of the Belgian endive production process.
If you're growing carrots, you can eat them right after harvest. But with this crop, patience is key. After harvesting, the chicory roots are transported to a processing facility where they undergo automated sorting to ensure size uniformity before moving on to the next stage. Roots harvested in September go directly into the forcing phase where shoots begin to grow. Those harvested in October and November, however, are placed in cold storage to maintain quality over time. The wooden bins full of roots are placed in a cooling chamber where shoot formation is slowed down and root decay is minimized. Ice is added and the temperature is maintained at 30 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing the moisture inside the roots completely. This way, the roots can be stored for months and grown gradually throughout the next harvest season. Let's return to the September batch. This is where modern techniques have revolutionized the traditional underground forcing process. The roots are now placed into plastic honeycomb trays, eliminating the need for soil and manual covering. This modern hydroponic method is designed to optimize production nutrient-rich water is circulated directly over the roots, providing everything they need to thrive. Of course, darkness is still essential. The growing rooms are kept completely dark and the temperature is precisely controlled between 54 degrees Fahrenheit to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Regular checks ensure that the shoots are developing properly. After about three to four weeks, tiny buds begin emerging from these humble roots, slowly developing into pale yellow endive heads. And unlike older methods, shoots grown this way don't carry the bitter flavor often associated with traditional chicory. From day one to day seven to day 21, the transformation is magical. Once the shoots reach their ideal size and develop their signature glossy yellow hue, it's time to harvest the beautiful Belgian endives. The delicate shoots are carefully harvested either by hand or with precision cutters to preserve their fragile structure. They then undergo a gentle cleaning process to remove any remaining soil or root debris before sorting and packaging. An automated system evaluates the size, shape, and quality of each endive, selecting only the smoothest, most perfect specimens for premium packaging. Misshapen or slightly damaged shoots are separated for other uses. The highest quality Belgian endives are then packed by skilled workers into ventilated boxes or vacuum sealed bags and stored at 30 to degrees Fahrenheit to 36 degrees Fahrenheit under controlled humidity to maintain peak freshness until they reach your plate. Thanks to this precise post-harvest handling, Belgian endives retain their crunchy texture and delicate flavor, making them one of the most prized and sought after vegetables in the world. The plastic trays used during the forcing phase are then cleaned by automated robotic systems to remove all traces of soil or plant debris. This advanced cleaning system uses high-pressure water jets and air blasts to sterilize the trays preparing them for the next growing cycle.
Now, let's take a quick look at a more traditional method of growing endives. In this process, the roots are planted directly into the soil, either covered or carefully layered with soil above them. Irrigation systems underneath provide essential moisture while the soil covering ensures total darkness. Belgian endive is a beloved ingredient in European cuisine, especially in France and Belgium, where consumption is highest. It's featured in everything from fresh salads to stir fries, soups, and even baked dishes. It's also used as a gourmet topping in sandwiches and pizzas. Beyond its culinary appeal, endive is also a nutritional powerhouse high in fiber and vitamins. It's rich in micronutrients, especially vitamin K, vitamin C, and folate. Low in calories and fat, Belgian endive is a fantastic choice for anyone following a healthy or weight conscious diet. However, in recent years, consumption has declined compared to a decade ago. That's why exports are increasingly important to introduce this remarkable vegetable to the rest of the world. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. See you in the next one and until then, take care, goodbye.